In this video, I'm going to be talking about smart money, supply and demand. So if this is going to help you understand the way the smart money moves the market with a use of a supply and demand concept, then you need to watch the rest of this video. I'll be back right after this. Welcome back supply and demand traders. As I said in the intro of this video, I'm going to be talking about the use of smart money, supply and demand together so you can understand the way those markets move. In fact, this is something that is going to be coming out in much more detail in a new course called Forex Domination later this year, so stay tuned for that. And right now there is a great discount for you to grab on that advanced supply and demand training course. Now let's go over this pound US dollar chart. I'm going to go through the technique of understanding to read the charts with the use of supply and demand concepts and how you can see the market is manipulated by those banks with a smart money concept. So first off, let's have a look at where we are on the current price. So we are at this previous low, the market's now dropping back down. Now basically what is happening now, the market's coming back to these previous lows again. And what you're going to tend to see, if we're going to see a reversal, which we may just see a continuation to the downside, if this market is to reverse, you're going to see it break this low and most probably drop into an area of imbalance or an area of demand. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, let's go through this chart back in time and we'll go through exactly how you could read this market with a potential reversal coming up. So we're going to go back to where we see the market reverse from. Now the first thing you need to understand is the use of market structure and the key thing to understand is when we see the markets move with a momentum move like you can see right here on the chart, this is when we can see that smart money have taken control of the markets and they've pushed that market higher. We have a break of this area of market structure and we see that momentum move here to the upside. That to me is the starting point where the banks have picked up those orders, they've accumulated these orders down here, and then they've exploded that market up. Again, we see the pullback and another explosion to the upside. So let's go deeper into this area and find out exactly how you could have caught a trade here and what we're looking for next on this pair. Well, the first thing I'm going to show you is there's a fresh area of demand which was formed once we saw this previous high removed and this smaller area of market structure removed, this left behind an area here of fresh demand. Now as well as an area of fresh demand, there is an area of imbalance. Let me remove that demand zone. The imbalance is sitting right here in the market. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to draw out this area of imbalance to the low of this move. So we're going to draw this whole section out so you can see this in current time where price now is coming into. So if I now just mark out an actual area on the chart from this low to the underside of this wick, and again, you'll learn this in more depth in that new course, I'm going to project this out into the future. So let's go to 08, one minute. And then we're going to go back, and we're going to come back to this section in a minute and find out how this has been formed. But let's go back to current price. And we can see that the market has already come into this on one occasion and we have seen a move up quite a strong move up in fact and now the market's coming back down into this area once again but this is the imbalance area remember this is an area of imbalance and this was our fresh area of demand sitting below that area so what i can see happening right now is a potential area of a double test to the downside we may see a small bounce again and then finally a push through into the area of demand. That is what I'd look for to happen before I then see the market showing me that explosion to the upside, then leaving behind an area of demand for me to look for a buy to go long. It's all about understanding and reading those markets. Now, if we go to that same area once again, where we just marked out this four hour zone of fresh demand, I wanted to show you on the daily time frame how you can read this on a higher time frame as well. And let me just remove that line. Now we're on current price. Let's go in closer and we just find that section. Right, so what we're looking at is this is our low 
This is our previous high. We broke out of this bullish candle. It's a nice momentum move to the upside. But do you know this one candle right there? Look at how this candle dropped down as a bearish candle before we see that explosion to the upside. What do you think this candle was doing? It was basically picking up orders, removing stops. And what I was doing was removing these previous daily lows, head to the left, picking up those orders. Now, how can we identify this? Well, again, let's go back into this area on a four hour. Let me shrink that chart back down, find that section. So this is that area. And in fact, let me just quickly, before I do that, I'm just gonna highlight those daily lows. Let's just change this. And we need to mark off these daily lows because these are the points on the chart where we are seeing the break of these lows, the manipulation where they're picking up those orders. Now let's go back to a four hour time frame. And you can see where this wick on this four hour candle comes down into this zone. This is in fact that area let me bring this zone back down. This is that area of a fresh demand zone which was created. And we can see it removes this low and this low here in the market. Now, if we actually go down to a lower time frame, and let's pop down to one hour now. Let me just mark that off. Remove everything. We'll go down to now a one hour. Let's find that area. And you'll be able to see this in much better detail now when you understand this is the daily low, this is a daily low. Now you can see this is a swing point on that one hour, and this is a swing point on the one hour, and we also have this swing point and this last low here. Do you notice how the markets came down, swooped up, gave us this one big bearish drop to the downside, and then we had the nice big bullish response back up. That is showing us this zone here on that four hour time frame, that wick on the four hour time frame, and there is your zone on that bearish candle. And that is why it's a great area to look to take a trade from. It gave us that manipulation. Now again, if we go back in time and we can see the same thing happened again, this big wick to downside removed this low in the market and even this low here. You can see the way the market was a bearish candle, picked up those orders, and then a strong rally back to the upside. The same thing happened as it came back once again. This is exactly the way the smart money is moving the markets to pick up those orders. So how would you have captured this as a buy trade? Well, if we go back in time, we can see to start with that there's this area of imbalance been left behind, right where the market came into, and we can also draw out this area of demand. Now it's not a fresh demand. I would need to have seen a push below this low to pick up a buy trade, but this actually came back into this area of imbalance, filled it and rallied back up. And that's how you can identify that manipulation in the market with the use of smart money supply and demand. Remember, you need to be looking at these fresh areas. And if you're looking at a fresh and tested zone and want to learn more on that concept, I'll leave the link above now to that fresh and tested zones of supply and demand because that will help you to understand what I mean by this. Now, we're going to look at this area here on this wick. We've been through how we looked at this reversal based on that four hour wick. Let's now look at this one hour wick on a lower time frame of 15 minutes. And this is how you can fine tune those entries to find a trade. So let's remove this box again. And we'll go down to the 15 minute chart. And let me just shrink that out. And again, straight away, what you'll see is we can see this low here was broken, these lows here. And if we look to the left, let me just go further back. So there are the lows we're looking at. Okay, let me just remove that. So this is that big wick to downside. You can see where we, at one point, this is a big bearish candle. And then the rally back up. Now, if we look to the left, what can we see at that point? Remember, we saw an area of imbalance. And if we mark off this zone right here, this is a smaller zone of imbalance on the 15 minute this time. You can see exactly where the markets came in. And we saw that push back up. Now, this area here, you can see what happens. We drop down. We then break this high. What that is doing is breaking an area of market structure. 
You can see we've gone made this low, a new high. The market's pulled back into where? Well, we've left this area of demand exactly as we went through in that previous section. And this is where you could have looked for an entry with the use of a smart money supply and demand concept. You see, smart money is just basically understanding the way the markets are moving. There's nothing special about smart money. If you understand it with a supply and demand concept that I teach in this channel, you'll start being able to see these types of setups. So let's draw out this zone on demand here. And one thing I want to just highlight again, this zone was a fresh zone until, let's draw this out and we'll put this into the future as well. So this is that zone on the 15 minute. Look at what happened. The market rallied out. We pulled back at this point. Once we closed up with this bullish candle, this became a fresh zone of demand. So it's a fresh demand. Then it pulls back in. And this then is where we find that test and we rally away. So this was in fact a great trade if you knew what you was looking at on the charts. So here, what do we now do? Well, if we want to take another buy off this zone, this is going back to that four hour zone that we went through at the beginning of this video. If we mark off the low of this candle, we need to see the market, and we haven't gone into that price yet, but we need to see the market come back, removing this line, going lower into this area of demand to pick up those orders, to then see that momentum move higher. So let's have a look and see if that's what actually happens. So we're gonna go forward. This is where we can see that previous low on that daily low. This is the other daily low. We bounce off that daily low and we can see the market drops through those lows and goes past this line that I was just talking about. We go lower into that zone, picks up those orders and straight away we see that momentum move higher demonstrating that that is where smart money was waiting to take those buys. See, the concept is simple. And as I said, there's going to be a full course on Forex domination, teaching the idea of this concept for you to be able to find these high probability trade setups. And this is an amazing trade. Look, the markets just went higher from this point. And in fact, in this area here, you could have been looking for buy trades on the lower time frame of a five and one minute time frame. But that is a video for another time. Understanding the way the markets really move like that, you can see you could have caught all this move to the upside. Now, if we go forward in price and the markets, which you go to a four hour again, this is that move where you see the market went all the way up here and now it's come back. And yes, it came back here. And what happened was we can see the market from this point rallied up, pulled back and actually made a new low. But all this was doing was making a new low to pick up more orders to go higher again. And what do we have overhead to the left for this? Well, we do have this area of demand where you see the first test and we rallied higher. And then if we look at a different time frame, perhaps even a daily time frame at this point, we may find there's an area of imbalance. So understanding the way those markets move. Now you can see we're coming back. Again, we are at this point at the moment on the chart, which is the start of that imbalance. And then we have this fresh area of demand. It's this area here of demand is where you want to look for any buy trades if we have that reversal. Of course, the market could just continue straight through, but it's understanding the way the markets move with that smart money supply and demand concept that you've just seen in this video. Now, let's shake up those comments once again in this video. And if you have liked what you've seen in this video today, then just leave one comment in this video, and that is smart money. And of course, if you have enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up because it's gonna help me to know that you're enjoying this type of content. It's a different type of content that I usually share in this channel. So I hope you've actually enjoyed it and you wanna see more like this, then let me know. And if you wanna carry on with some more education with a supply and demand concept, then you'll find a video popping up right now for you to go through to the next video.